We're making chickpea cookies today with Julie Black. Oh, they sound good. So here's what you need to make a batch yourself. Almond or cashew butter, canned chickpeas, vanilla extract, some honey, some baking soda, baking powder, salt, and vegan chocolate chips. Ooh, that sounds really, really good. Okay, Jules, this sounds like a recipe mm -hmm. that's going to convince everyone just how versatile chickpeas are. But first, I need to talk about how yeah. versatile you are, my friend. Singer, songwriter, and amazing cook. <laughs> Listen, I call it Corona creativity, okay? <laughs> corona cre creativity set in. They're talking about people are going to gain 16 pounds. I said, no, we're going to minus 16 pounds. We're going to find the food hack. If you're a cookie monster, we're going to find out how you can be a, a cookie madam up in this, okay? Yeah. I'm yeah. all about that because yeah. I love What's up, well? I love me some cookies, but this is what I need to discuss before we even get into the recipe. Look upon this strong and sexy body. Everyone during COVID is packing in the pounds and they're, watch her. Look at you with your muscles and your abs. <laughs> so this is part of your initiative. I mean, you have a whole thing going on with women that come together and you train together and you eat healthy together. Tell us a little bit about that. That's right, 100 Strong and Sexy, it's my baby. It was birthed after mom passed away. The grief was pinning me down and I was eating all the wrong things. And so I just made a pivot, you know, you don't, you don't, uh, you aren't what you eat, you eat what you are. And I realized I was reaching for things, so I had to make a quick change. And this initiative was started for 100 days, started in 2018, in August, and now over 700 and to the exact 716 women have signed up. We eat well, we work out together, we do it online now. There's people all over the world. It's really honoring my mom's legacy, and uh, and I feel great. I'm, I'm going to be 43 in two months, and I feel like I'm 15. It's great. Oh, <laughs> mommy is so proud of yeah. you. I know it. I know it. That's incredible. I didn't know it was that many women. Thank That's incredible. You. So let's start the recipe. Tell us how mm -hmm. it's done. Simple recipe. You put everything in the food processor except for the chocolate chips, okay? So 14, 15 ounces of chickpeas. You just throw that in there, Okay. We have quarter cup of honey, raw honey, raw, raw, raw. We ain't doing that other sugary stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, okay, simple teaspoon of vanilla extract. Well, you got all, I'm just gonna throw it in there. Teaspoon of bacon powder, quarter teaspoon. If you do, this is like my ghetto cooking right here. Can you, can you, can you see that I just be throwing things in? Quarter teaspoon. <laughs> Of the, uh, oh, oh, this is a quarter teaspoon of the, the bacon soda, but this is the trick. For those, though, this is vegan. It's dairy free, egg free, flour, flourless, all that. This is the trick. If you want to make a, a vegan egg, okay, you see how gooey this is? Mm -hmm. This is a tablespoon of chia, mm -hmm. two tablespoons of water, two and a half tablespoons of water, and let it sit for five minutes, and it's gooey. You see that? Uh -huh. This is your bind. This is what makes mine sexy. This is what makes my cookie yeah. sexy. So I have chosen cashew butter today. Okay, <laughs> put it in there. Put it on. Da, 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 da. I'll be seven days only because I, I really love you. That's it. Now this is a trick. Now this is TV trick. So check this out. Check this out. You see this? Yeah. This is how you stir without messing up your your spoon. Use the end of it. Oh. Right. Chocolate chips are in there. All right. And then that's, you know, you just put a couple of, you just, just put a, I use two teaspoons. This is how I do my cookies. Okay. Put a couple on here. Boom. Can you see what's popping? Uh-huh. We see it. Put them in the oven 350 for 20 minutes. And then when you're done baking the cookies, oh, they look like this. Beautiful. And they're nice and they're soft. Oh. How many can we eat? So, eat two to three after the workout. You can see all the TLC that mm -hmm. goes into these cookies. The fact that it's high protein, you've got the chickpeas in there, and all this stuff is important to you as well because you also have a story about your father um, that a lot of people have heard about, but some people have not. But he battled breast cancer, and that's also part of the reason why you are fueling yourself with these good foods. Tell us more about that. Yeah, well, you know, being able to educate myself um, and really help my family understand that there's, there's preventable diseases, you know, cancer, 75 Canadians per day 
are diagnosed with cancer mm -hmm. per day. Mm -hmm. And some of these statistics I didn't know until dad had gone through it at 80 years old. And he, he's, he's a, the picture and the pillar of hope. But we have to change our palate. So I had to find some swaps for, for mom and dad. And you are the national spokesperson for CIBC Run for the Cure, am I right? I am. And that was pure manifestation. I mean, as you know, Tracy, I'm really forward on my social media. I share everything. I think sharing is caring. And the, the, you know, the biggest measure of courage, according to Brene Brown, which I agree with, is vulnerability. And so mm -hmm. I shared. You know, I was scared when, when dad got sick. And to be a caregiver, and when mom got sick, she transitioned. But dad is, is here. And he's able to, he has all his faculties. And he's taught me about resilience and about the advocacy and being able to share how you're actually feeling. And, you know, you know, in summary, if we aren't healthy enough, you know, to begin with, my dad knew something was wrong. And he told his doctor, and one of them didn't, didn't believe. He was in the 1% of men to actually be diagnosed with breast cancer. You know, I wonder if we should call it chest cancer for men, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of people don't realize that men are being diagnosed, yeah. right? And so I'm excited to be a woman, a black woman, to really encourage my community as well to get tested, get checked, listen to your body, get healthy mm -hmm. so that our bodies can actually inform us. And then we inform the doctors. That's right, because you have to advocate for yourself. Julie, the message is so good. You mentioned your vulnerability on Instagram and social media, and I think that's why people should follow you. You have great messages of depth, but then you're also winding up while the pizza man comes during Caravana. <laughs> So you have to catch it all. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Julie. Thank you so much for the recipe. Yes. Thank you for all of it.